Bonjour, this is Rebecca Lightning from the Lightning Travel Agency and today on this episode of Lightning Tours I'm going to be talking about the famous country of France and I love visiting France so I'm so excited for this episode. So we're going to talk about the food first. So when you go to France you're going to be eating lots of French bread. It's very delicious, very yummy and you can find it in America but it's just not as good as in France so you should make sure to get some French bread. Also, one of the most famous breakfast foods is the French toast. They eat it all the time in the France. Uh, it's very good to the nose. It smells very good. Yes, this is very good. Okay, so you can also find French dressing on almost anything when you go to France. So, if you do, to find out that you don't like it at the beginning, you should definitely tell them because... Uh, is going to be everywhere. I mean, French dressing is just everywhere. Very good. Okay, so when you also go to the France, you can see the French fries, and the French fries are very delicious, very yummy, and I like mine not quite burnt to the crisp. It's like medium well. Yes. Um. Also in France is the French style yogurt. Uh, but it's not French style because it's just yogurt in France because, you know, this is what they buy. And so, the French yogurt is also just better in France to begin with. But if you go to the right French style, then it's even, even better. Okay, so, the last thing you can find in France is the tacos. And the tacos are very delicious. Um, they really just have just embraced those tacos. And they spread it throughout all the world. So it's just very good, very good. Okay, so that's all the main foods you're going to be seeing when you're in France. Next, we're going to talk about some of the landmarks. So uh, when you go to France, you want to see the Louvre. It's like this big museum. And it's shaped like, like the pyramids in Egypt, but with glass. So it's like prettier, kind of. And they also have lots of old things there. So if you like to see lots of old things, you should go see... The Louvre. Um, also, they have the um, Notre Dame Cathedral, and that basically, like you can go see what's left of it. It kind of it had some fire going on, which isn't good, and it, we feel very sorry for them. But uh, you can still go see it. It's very famous, and maybe you see a hunchback too. You just never know. You should go check. Um, also, the most famous tower in France is must see the Leaning Tower of Pisa. So. When I googled a leaning tower of pizza in France, you'll never believe it, nothing popped up. So I drew you a picture. This is the leaning tower of pizza in France. And you must go visit. It's just so pretty. Okay. So the most famous mountain in all of France is called Mount Everest. It looks just like this replica. And you can go and hike on Mount Everest, but don't die. Lots of people do. And I think that's just because they're just not as cool as you and me. So just don't die because you're cool. Okay. Also, the most famous river in France is the longest river in the world. It's called the Amazon. And it gives life to all the animals of France. So that's like the French poodle, the French guinea pig, the French cat, the French cow, the French puppy, the French kitten. It's all of them. It gives them all life. Okay. So those are the landmarks you must listen to um, go see, you know. Um, so the language of France, when you go anywhere in France, you enter the room and you yell to the people with your arms and you say, Aloha! Okay? And then as soon as you say that, the people all stand up and they say, Aloha! And that's how you say hi and goodbye. There's lots of yelling in France. Yes. Also, whenever, uh, you don't like actually need to know all the French because they actually speak a lot of English. But it's good to know a few phrases for, you know, emergencies. So, for example, if you need to use the restroom, all you say is, Donde está el baño? And the people will help you. Okay, so that's all the language you need to know. Um, let's talk a little bit about the history of France with some famous individuals. So, we all know about Napoleon. He's very famous and important in French history. You can also see Kim Jong-un. He's very famous from France. And you can see Andre the Giant, 
in he's from the princess bride i think he should have been the protagonist anyway um you can also see marie antoinette and she's very famous for her cakes and you'll never believe it <clears throat> we have only in this edition of lightning travel agency tours a piece of marie antoinette's wedding cake i know it's crazy it's been preserved in a museum and now I'm going to take a bite. Okay. Oh wow. Marie Antoinette really likes the sugar. So I'm just gonna sit back and eat this. But basically you'll be fine in France. Oh it's so good. Oh my god.